everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through what parts you might want to have in your garage if you work on small engines for a hobby. So the first part that I would recommend having is going to be a fuel line for both weed whackers and lawnmowers. Um, for weed eaters, you're going to need the one, the two sizes, so the one bigger one and the one smaller one are good to have. And for fuel line for a lawnmower, usually just quarter inch regular fuel line will work good. Um, the next part is going to be spark plugs. Um, so I have a bunch here, and the most common one that I use is um, either this NGK one here, uh, the B2LM, or the Champion RJ19LM. Um, these are good to have because most flathead lawnmower engines and snowblower engines use these, and they're just really good spark plugs. So yeah, the next parts I'm going to be sharing is going to be uh, these little primer bulbs here, the one, these are the ones that snap into the plastic. These are good to have because sometimes these break and they're just pretty, they're just pretty cheap. If you get a bundle of them on Amazon, they're like 10, you get like 10 of these for a few bucks. So they're a really good deal and they're nice. Um, the next part is going to be the regular primer bulbs. These, this kind that you just plop into your carburetor. Um, I would recommend having the regular, the bigger size like this and a couple of the smaller one like this because if ever you buy like weed eaters off Kijiji usually, usually the primer bulbs in fuel lines need to be replaced so it's good to have a lot of these in stock and they're pretty cheap too um the last part for this category is going to be um fuel filters so i have a couple kinds here they came in a kit from amazon i have this plastic kind here um has a little weight in the bottom and i also have this white one here they're both pretty good. Um, you don't need you don't need two kinds. Just if you want, just pick one kind off Amazon. Anyway, uh, they're pretty good to have if you work on a lot of small engines. So, yeah. The next part is going to be, or the next, yeah, the next part is going to be uh, these little fuel clips. So if you change a lot of fuel line, you're gonna want to have these because evidently these are going to snap, and you're gonna need extra ones. So <laughs> these ones are nice. They're also from Amazon. Um, I like them. So yeah. And if you work on lawn tractors, you're going to want to get these fuel filters because this one with the paper in the center here, these are designed for equipment with fuel filter or with uh, fuel pumps, sorry. Um, but if you work on lawnmowers, you can get the regular like red plastic ones. Those are fine. Just these ones with the paper in the middle are for equipment like lawn tractors or snowmobiles with a fuel pump. So just be careful when you buy these. And also don't, don't get the cheap ones because they always leak around here. So these are a little bit more money, but they're good to have if you work on lawn tractors. Um, next, the next part is going to be carburetor and carburetor parts. So I have, so it kind of depends on what you work on a lot. If you work on a lot of Briggs and Stratton quantum engines, you're going to want to have a few of these carburetors because again, evidently, um, you're going to have some bad ones that you run across and it's just cheaper to replace it then to have to rebuild it and then tune it and everything so i would keep i don't know one or two of these in stock and i would also keep in stock the briggs and stratton the plastic carburetors that go with that go with this gas tank um they're pretty cheap and they're good to have because these gas tanks are these are really expensive they're like a hundred dollars if you want a new one that's a good quality so i would recommend keeping a um a carburetor and, and or just the diaphragm because usually that's the part that goes out when you get these lawnmowers to work on. All you have to do is, is replace that diaphragm and then you're good. Okay, and to end off our video, uh, here are just a couple of specialty tools that I have for cleaning carburetors. So um, these are just torch tip cleaners for like welding torches, I think. Um, these are pretty good to get in little, little orifices and stuff in carburetors. And these brushes are also quite nice. They're nice and soft, but they're nice and but they're also nice and like stiff, so it cleans the holes out really good. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you in some way, shape, or form uh, as to what parts you should have in your small engine shop. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.